He's going coast to coast. Clear the runway. He's coming in. It's a helicopter slam jam. He's going to pull up from three. Count. Watch this guy go. Double drive, backs it in, and gets it. From the Macon Coliseum and the Macon Centerplex, it is championship two on championship day number one. It is the single A public championship. Two teams meeting from different parts of the state here in Macon Madness. It is the Wilkinson County Warriors coming out of Region 7, 24 and 6, going up against the Bulldogs of Hancock Central coming in with an identical 24 and 6 record. Welcome to the Macon Madness. The March to Macon is now complete. I am John Nelson. This is Sean Golden, my tag team partner here for the weekend on the boys' side. And these two teams, Sean, played each other twice in the regular season. No secrets here. Definitely no secrets, John. You got to come out here and play hard. Just enjoy the process. We got a lot of energy here in the crowd. The team that comes out, John, like we talked about, they can stay under control, hit big shots as a team that's going to win. And in talking to both of these coaches coming in, we thought that there might be a change of styles, but it looks like we're going to be getting a tennis match here, and it's going to go end to end both ways. You really can't change anything, John, now, especially coming to a championship game. You want the kids to feel relaxed, know what they're doing, so you got to stick to your guns and come out here and play your game. Wilkinson County, one of the coaches, is chasing history. Dr. Aaron Jeter. He will be going after his eighth title for Wilkinson County. He is the superintendent of schools for Wilkinson County. In 17 years, they have made 17 Sweet 16s, chasing after his eighth title. If he does that, he will become only the third coach in Georgia State history to reach the eight title plateau. So it's going to be some high cotton for the folks from Irwinton and McIntyre. And on the flip side, it is an interesting point guard for Hancock Central and Anthony Webb. A 6'2 six, a six guard, John, averaging 16 points, two rebounds, two assists a game. A lot of pressure is going to put on this young man tonight. How he handles the press is important. How he controls his team is important because his success leads to success of Hancock and is, Central. And that is Alex Brooks. He is averaging a little over 16 points a game, two points and two rebounds. And Hancock Central won a title here in 2008. Anthony Webb is a local. Grow up in Sparta, and he said that basketball is everything. Same thing in Wilkinson County. The Palace is one of the coolest venues that you could have in all of single-A basketball. When you have a town like Irwinton, when you have a town like Sparta, games like this mean the world. This is a huge game for the community, for the schools. I'm just going to enjoy this track meet that we're going to have here tonight, <laughs> John. They're going to warm up the Coliseum, get ready for the weekend, and people just sit back, enjoy your popcorn at home. This is going to be a nice one. Dr. Jeter has been a part of the process since 1999. It used to be where there's a Whipple, there's a way. There is Anthony Webb, the head coach of Hancock Central. Started out 4-4 four and four this year. They've gone 20 and 2 since. Crawford County, Wilkinson County, Baldwin and Thompson were those losses in that 4-4 four and four start. But he has said and he has admitted that his team is a bunch of overachievers. What does that mean for the last game of the year? Well, John, you really can't say that because of the last six games, Hancock has won four of them. So Hancock really has the upper edge mentally. Now let's see how they're going to handle this in a championship stage. Wilkinson County yesterday, their practice in some circles, talking to those close to the program, they were jumpy yesterday. Uncharacteristically, they seemed nervous at practice yesterday. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? We'll introduce that in just a sec. The third member of our broadcast team, Sam Crenshaw, with the word on the history of Wilkinson County. Sam. Of course, people in Irwinson are used to playing in championship basketball games. Nothing new for Wilkinson County. They are indeed high school basketball royalty in this state. It goes back to the days of Coach David Moore, who coached an old Calhoun consolidated in the GIA. Back in those days, he played in the gym that actually was outside. They played on a clay court outdoors. And from those teams, they would win three state championships through the 1960s before consolidating the schools and merging with the GHSA starting in 1970. So those seeds planted in the Georgia clay still flourish today. We'll see if they get another championship in Wilkinson County this afternoon. Thank you very much, Sam. You'll be our eyes and ears on the sideline. For the record, Calhoun Consolidated won in single-A GIA in 1966, double-A back-to-back in 1969 and 1970. In the rafters at the Palace in Wilkinson County, there is a banner with David Moore, coached from 1964 to 1996. In those 32 years, 
491 and 117. Let's look at the starting five for the Blue Storm. There you have Aaron Jeter the third. He is the coach's son, the junior point guard. You have Ontario Coates. You have Larry Jones, Greg Cosen, Clarence Jackson, Clarence Jackson the sophomore. Sean, you've been keeping an eye on him. Hancock Central starters, Alex Brooks the point guard. Devagier Tucker, Philippe Scott, Martravia Smith, and Dallas Meminger. Right now, Wilkinson County traditionally 10 to 12 deep. They come in in shifts. Hancock Central, maybe seven off the bench. Any thoughts there? Hey, John, again, we talked about the track meet. Sometimes you're going to have to give that good break so you can keep the energy and the fluidity of the game going. Wilkinson County brings out one of the tallest front courts at times in all of single-A basketball, and they will end up with it first. Larry Jones running point. Coates into the corner. Clarence Jackson's pass intercepted. Back comes Hancock Central off the glass. Too hard follow-up and a foul on the inside. 20 seconds in. And John, you talked about the nervousness there of Wilkinson County. And here you have an erratic pass getting able to come down the court and this attacking the rim. But that's a fantastic job there by Smith getting to the rim, shooting two free throws. Honorable mention, all region averaging a little over eight points a game. That's the first on the board. And see, John, now the confidence is definitely in the hands of Hancock Central. Steal, transition basket, that's the way you want to play. Create turnovers and score off of those opportunities. Second and two hard. The foul was called on Jones. Larry Jones, number three, bringing the ball up the floor. His first team first. Bulldogs with the first point on the board. Ontario Coates into the corner, knocked out of bounds as he was looking for Aaron Jeter on the pass. It'll stay with the Blue Storm. Hey, John, the first two offense possessions for Wilkinson County resulted in a deflection and a steal. So there's two deflections there, John, for Hancock Central. Hands in the way early on defensively for Hancock Central. Coates looking to drive, still working the perimeter. Tough defense by Hancock Central to start things out. First minute, only one point on the board. Near corner, spot up. Rimmed out, no. Rebound Hancock Central, safe from going out of bounds. Devagier Tucker has it, and he'll slow it down for Alex Brooks. 17-footer, back iron, no. Tipped around, rebound, second chance, three-pointer. Off the back iron again, no good. Third opportunity, pass inside. Fourth chance, no, and Wilco comes up with it. John, we talked about a fast-paced game. We had a lot of missed shots, a lot of offensive rebounding, and now we got transition basketball. This is exactly what we talked about starting off the broadcast. And then back the other way, turnover for Wilkinson County by Ontario Coates. Second turnover in the first minute and a half. Yeah, the electricity, John, here in the atmosphere is very strong. Just a good game for us to really enjoy. High Arthur off the elbow, bank no good by Meminger. Let's see what Wilco will do with it. Jeter, left hand, misses everything. An easy put up in two. Man, I don't think, John, each team has three-point shooters, so offensive rebounding is definitely a plus in both of their hands. You've got to defend on the, on the defensive end and box out. Two players for Hancock Central, averaging double figures six for Wilkinson County because of style of play. Block on the inside by Cosen. It looks like it's going to stay with Hancock Central. Take another look. Good penetration to the basket there, John. Offensive rebounding, but just a great block there by Cousin. Hancock Central over their first seven from the floor. Almost stolen on a pass, elbow, jumper, no, over eight. Jackson coming out with it, a long pass, two steps, win, no good. Cheetah with the follow, no, third chance up and in, Clarence Jackson. Hey, John, and, 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 and that's what I'm talking about, offensive rebounding on both ends. Someone's got to do a better job of boxing out defensively and eliminate the second chance shot. Tucker averaging a little over eight points a game on the year. A lot of hands, high hands on the inside, but finally their ninth shot on the day. Martravia Smith, the first two for Hancock Center. And John, if there was a shot clock, you'd see a lot of open shots on outside the paint. 
Everyone inside the paint is being effective with three points. High arcing three, no by Coach. Rebound on the inside, coming out with it. Hancock in transition. And steps. And Jay, you talk about being intense. I look at Dr. Jeter over there. He is intense. Tra traditionally. He, he wants this game very bad. He wants every game very badly, partner. <laughs> that, Dr. Jeter has that stare that you don't want to get. And I know that you know coaches that have that stare. Yeah, I was one of those. <laughs> <laughs> miss by a hand by Wilcox, by, by Wilco. Hancock Central with the miss. Coming out with it, Jeter. Four on one, what do you do here? Too many passes and out of bounds. It's a fast paced game. At some point in time, John, it's going to slow down and get a little bit under control. But getting through this first half, I guess, especially to the first timeout, it's going to stay at this pace. Larry Jones, the 5'9 junior, running point. There's Coates, who had some time on the bench with an injury. Healthy now gets the deuce there in 6 3 woke up. Yeah, John, that was just a shot that actually went in outside 17 feet. So being able to get that perimeter shot down maybe can help Wilco make some perimeter shots here in the next few plays. Brooks looked to drive. Got double team down on the baseline. Kicked it back out to Tucker. Under the halfway point, first quarter. Fake the jumper and the drive. Philippe Scott. Foul on the inside. And when we come back, we'll have free throws. 3.43 to go, first quarter, single A public championship. Wilkinson County doubling Hancock Central, 6-3 on the great GPB. Cotton contributes $2.5 billion to the state's economy annually. It takes more than 60 cotton gins and manufacturers to bring cotton into our everyday lives. Kids always like to stay in the pool a little too long. And when they do get out, covered in goosebumps, you feel the urge to wrap them up. The cozy embrace of cotton does the job. Cotton, the natural choice for Georgia. Welcome back, Macon Coliseum, Macon Centerplex, 343 for the first. Let's take a look at how these two squads got to this moment in time, starting with Wilkinson County. The road to the championships brought to us by our friends at Georgia EMC. Big win over Atco in the first round. Lincoln County completely stifled them defensively to win by 37, then knocking off the number one seed, Trutland, winning that one by 13, 69, 56. On the flip side, Hancock Central knocked off Marion County by 11, Taylor County by 10, Turner County, they survived a last second shot to win 68-66, and you've got a tale of two ways of getting here. Wilkinson County having their way with a lot of folks, Hancock Central playing it tight. Yeah, John, if you really look at the first four minutes, John, you look at this, the pace was like very erratic, up and down the court very fast, one perimeter shot made, a lot of energy plays made in that first four minutes, John, now we gotta get some basketball. Philippe Scott, free throw up and in. Scott averaging a little over 15 a game and eight rebounds. First team all region for the Bulldogs. Second free throw by Scott. Cuts the lead to one. And see, John, if you watch how they're playing the high post for him, they had a great stroke there at the free throw line. He's going to be knocking down that 15-foot shot there in the high post action. Hancock, one for their first 11 from the floor. Wilkinson three of their first nine. Aaron Jeter double team finally gets to give it to Coates so they can reset in the game now. Jadavion Jones, the 5'9 junior, 23, as part of the new round of shift change for Wilkinson County. Block on the inside by Philippe Scott. And John, I really applaud how the officials are letting these teams come out and play. Good penetration here to the basket. Great weak side help there. Uh, by the defense. Scott and Martravius Smith double teaming on the baseline as we come up on three minutes to go. First quarter, very fast moving single A public championship. Jones guarded by Brooks will drive into a triple team off the glass up and in. Greg Kosa. Yeah, great penetration there um, to the pin to the middle, getting a nice finish down low by Kosa. Tucker, Scott looking to drive. 
got Jonathan Bear in the air to blue. Let's take a look at Wilkinson County getting points on the board. Yeah, John, anytime you can attack the middle of the paint, you got a swing step there down low. Don't allow the ball going to the middle of the paint, John, off penetration. Defense got to do a better job of forcing the perimeter play there by Wilkinson County. Jonathan Bear in less than a minute, picks up his first foul. One of the leading scorers for Wilkinson County, averaging 12 points a game, six rebounds. Once again, we remind you about Wilkinson County, six players averaging in double figures since Dr. Jeter is more than happy to bring in 10, 11, 12 guys during this time of year. He'll play even more during the regular season. Well, John, you've asked the question twice. Are there any secrets? No, you've got to stick to what you've done all year long. It will help you be successful because the kids are very comfortable playing that consistent style. Bear gets the rebound, fighting inside against three white shirts. Jumper up and in, Jadavion Jones. And, John, I would say that's the first basketball play we've had between both teams. Nice shot fake, nice pull up there for a 12 foot jumper. Brooks. Tucker looking to drive. Left hand, high, arcing shot off the hip for two. Yeah, the pace is on to slow down a little bit with two minutes left in the first quarter. But the penetration, both teams are playing pressure on the perimeter, but they're not keeping the offense out of the paint. Got to do a better job, John, of containing the dribble. Finger roll, no good. Back comes Hancock Central. Tucker, bounce pass. Smith had it, but they call steps. And here's an off-the-hip move straight out of the Sean Golden playbook. Yeah, see, John, that middle penetration both ways is hurting both teams, and it's going to bite them in the end because now the officials are going to call it a little bit tighter as the game gets closer to the end. Jones' entry pass turns it over, and a nice lay in that time by Travis Smith. Yes, John, steals and layups, steals and layups. You see Hancock Central getting in the passing lane, John, attacking the rim in transition. Five for Smith, leading Hancock Central. It's the first tie of the game here at 10. Tough defensively by Hancock Central. Three-point attempt no by Jones. Tried to save. Stays with Wilco. And John, I'm sure that's not the shot that the doctor wanted. The 22-foot jump shot there from Jones. Uh, even though he was open, he was open for a reason. 33, Derek Wiltshire in. Greg Cosen will sit, presumably for the remainder of the quarter. Wilco inbounds to the baseline, kicking it back out to the perimeter to reset as we come up with a minute to go. First quarter tied at 10. Jump shot too much. And Hancock Central comes away with it. Debagier Tucker. Entry pass. Use the body. Hey man, that's just a big strong town. That, that strong move down low by the big fella, Dallas. Just making a nice dribble drop step and a nice finish into the rim. 6'4", junior, averaging four and a half. He's got half his season average right there. Hancock on a 6-0 run to be up by two. Let's take another look at Neminger. Right there on the block. Dribble drop step. Went to the baseline first and spent back to the middle. That's a great offensive move. Whistle on the inbound. Looks like it's going to be a foul on Hancock Central on the inbounds pass. I'm going to call the foul on Debagier Tucker, his first. Jones dribbling on the perimeter. Looked like that shot by Jeter was partially blocked. Joust, and it'll go to Hancock Central. Now, Wilkinson County, they, you know, that John, they're, they really are trying to hit the outside shot, I think, a little too much. Start penetrating, shot fake, penetrate, get to the rim as much as you can, alleviate the perimeter shot outside your arsenal here. Tucker bringing it up. He'll be guarded by Jadavion Jones, and an offensive foul will come back the other way. Looks like they're going to call Philippe Scott. It'll be Scott Spurs. Now coming up on 10 seconds, one opportunity for Wilco here at the end of the court. Dribble, kick, got ball from behind, follow up too hard, third shot tipped by Jonathan Bear is not going to happen. And we have finished the first quarter 
in the single A boys public championship. Hancock Central on a 6-0 run down early. The Bulldogs now lead the Blue Storm by the score of 12 to 10. Back and forth action, which is what we anticipated. Second eight minutes coming up around the corner on the great GPB. Making madness is here. Stay with us. This program on GPB is made possible in part by supporters of the Georgia High School Association, including the following. This isn't just any team. This is your home team, okay? It's not about A team or B team. It's not about your boss telling you to be a team player or to take one for the team. No, home team is about pride. It's about standing strong, pulling together, and going crazy about a bad call you know is right. But because it was against your home team, it must be wrong. Look, some people just don't get it because it's not their team. But Farm Bureau Insurance does because everyone needs a home team for insurance. And we are that. Today, companies in the aerospace, advanced manufacturing, and film industries need skilled workers, and the earning potential is high. Go Build Georgia can show you where the jobs are and what skills you need to get them. And the Technical College System of Georgia has fast, affordable training for these great paying careers. Build your blueprint for success at GoBuildGeorgia.com and look to the Technical College System of Georgia to put your plan into action. At the heart of our community are the businesses that don't skip a beat. Georgia's electric membership cooperatives stand behind local commerce. Whether keeping farms running or shining a light on new ventures, we bring business, large and small, to our communities. Creating jobs, driving development, supporting dreams. Georgia's EMCs, powering our businesses, lighting the way. Welcome back, Macon Coliseum, Macon Centerplex, getting ready for the start of the second eight minutes. Boys single A public final, Hancock Central leading Wilkinson County by the score of 12 to 10. And this upcoming moment for Georgia Public Broadcasting is brought to us by Sean Golden. Yeah, down Abbey, John, the series finale coming up this Sunday night as we bid farewell to our friends after six wonderful seasons with a special live event surrounding the series finale. It all starts Sunday night on GPB. The great GPB. Well done, Pop. Downton Abbey, one of the great staples here at Georgia Public Broadcasting. We're getting ready for the second eight minutes here. What struck you from the first eight? Hey, John, perimeter shooting. Uh, you got 28% from the, from the field for Hancock Central and 27% for Wilkinson County. So they've got to do a better job, John, of getting these shots. Missed the first attempt for Hancock Central. Ball goes out of bounds. Nice defense on the way back. It's going to stay with Wilco under the basket. Defense, whenever you can get inside the paint, force the defense to come up, the dump off them for crucial for the dunk. He has six. Jumper off the front rim short. And this is where Wilkinson County loves to run in transition. Had numbers, they'll back it back out for Larry Jones. Five for Wilkinson County for this moment in time. Right now it's the five that started. Off the window. Rimmed out, no good. Jeter, Coates, Jones, Coson, and Jackson. And a foul on the rebound in transition attempted. And here's your drive dish and dunk. It's a high low a shot break. Nice finish for the big throw down low. Clarence Jackson, the sophomore, we talked about him kind of being the straw for that offense. Yeah, John, and he's been touted as the glue for the team. As he goes, John, this Wilkinson County team goes, averaging over to close to 13, 14 points a game. If he plays well, this team will play well. Took one step too many to get set for the baseline jumper. Jackson's two gets waved off. And we're stuck at 12s. Cox Central is the same. Alex Brooks. Running point. Back out 
Bellagio Tucker. Dallas Memminger, 50. Travis Smith, 11. Philippe Scott, 33. Minute and a half gone, second quarter time to drive. As he done exactly what I'm talking about, penetration, penetration. The first quarter, they didn't call as many fouls, but as the game kind of seizes up just a little bit, here's a high ball screen. This morning, his shoulder doing a good job splitting the defense, and there's the foul. Fouls on Ontario Coates, his first. Our officials for this game are Williams, Pat Green, and Danny Pepitone. The ones in charge of calling on the foul. Let him play so far. Brooks drive, wide open space for two. If he drives again, penetration. Brooks does a good job of controlling his body, avoiding the block shot, taking the defense off, and finishing at the rim. So Dr. Dr. Jeter wants a 30. Here's your dribble drive. A lot of empty space on the baseline for Brooks that time. Yeah, but John, he did a great job of just holding off the defense, avoiding the block, and finishing. That's what I like about Brooks. If he can continue, John, to do that, this game will definitely go into the favor of Hancock Central. There's Dr. Jeter face. But, John, you know what that is there? That's called respect. Yes. Well, that, that's all that is. And, and if you look at him, he's, oh, he's yelling at the kids. No. He's earned the respect from the kids, from the school, from the community. So now the kids limit his intensity when he comes out and shows on the court. And he's shown in the last 17 years. And he knew that the Blue Storm was going to bring a lot of folks with him. As the saying goes, if you want to win in single-A public, most of the time you're going to have to go through Georgia 57 to get it done. And that is Irwinton and McIntyre in Wilkinson County. Yeah, penetration, John. That's the name of the game offensively for both teams. Drive, penetrate, and kick. Second foul by Larry Jones. Throw, too much. Rebound, Cosin. Could these two squads still be getting adjusted to the rims and the lighting here? You know, John, I really think they're just playing basketball. And, and I don't think, I'm not saying they're a bad shooting team, but I don't shoot in the point the shot is definitely their strength. Jackson missed everything. Great idea by Ontario Coach bouncing it off the hand of central player to keep possession. Davion Jones in. Jonathan Bayer in. Larry Jones is out. Clarence Jackson is out for Wilkins. And John, offensively, you got to realize you're open for a reason. Uh, because they don't respect your perimeter play. Sometimes you have to be more patient. Don't take the first open shot that you receive. Be patient, move the ball around, and try to get good penetration. up high. turn on the jumper. Got it. That's great basketball from Wilkinson County. Getting the block shot, a deep outlet to Jeter. Nice finish. Brandon Seiber now in for Hancock Central, number two. Luke Scott thought about it at the top of that one. Seiber drives too hard.
Davion Jones there telling everybody to go. And it looks like the momentum now, John, is heading towards Wilkinson County, but it started off their defense. Contesting shots, blocking shots, deep outlets, finishing at the rim. Wilkinson County, John, plays about 12 feet in. They're effective. They just can't live on the perimeter at the three-point shot because it takes the run. The Blue Storm is rolling right now in Macon. It brings out the best in all of us. See him in the Macon Centerplex. You see Wilkinson County, the Blue Storm, catching fire here. And this is what Dr. Jeter has done, the short version. Seven state championships in 17 years, 17 straight Sweet 16s, 15 Elite Eights, 10 Final Fours, his all-time record, 472 and 50. The only thing missing is a partridge in the pear tree with what he's been able to accomplish so far in the Twin Cities of Irwinton and McIntyre. One word to describe that man, John, is respect. There's a banner that goes up in that gym. You don't say Dr. Jeter, you just put respect. Because when that word comes out, you look at him. What he's done with this program, what he's done with that community, he's done respect in everybody and trust. When you have that, John, you can coach as intense, you can coach any way you want to because the people trust you. Wilkinson County's made six of their last eight from the floor. What have you seen? Transition basketball, John, and when you're getting ready, now you can hit the perimeter shots around 10 and 12 feet, but it starts with their defense. Tucker along the perimeter, Philippe Scott. Look to hand it off. Now he's driving and gets fouled on the drive in. That's only here he is. He's got it the high post. Absorbing the contact, almost had a hand one. But that's hard to defend, John, from Wilkinson County when Scott gets the ball at high post, John, because he can shoot the ball at 12 to 15 feet. You've got to honor his shot. If his shot fakes, he gets to the rim, John. So that's an awesome, that's a set play by high post. Get the ball to Scott and let him create. Valon Cousin. Cousin is first. Margin still six in three minutes. Second free throw good. That's a five. Hancock needed that to stop the Wilco run. Now it puts on Jadavion Jones. No culture set to check in for Wilco at the next whistle. High teardrop, no good. Rebound up and in, number two, and it's close again. So, John, when you penetrate, the defense has to shift that out of control. You can get the offense and tip in, and Cruz is just in position to get the two points. He has 10 of the team's 24. Once again, that tall front court for Wilkinson County steps will go the other way. The tallest player for Hancock Central is 6'4", but when Wilkinson County can come at you with Jonathan Bear at 6'9", Cosin at 6'6", and have Clarence Jackson on the outside at 6'5", that gives you stuff to think about. Oh, definitely. Keep the ball out of the paint, John. They don't want you to penetrate, but if they do, they got the cheese that have locked shots. Cosin, fake, foul, didn't fall, rimmed out, no good, follow through. Gave him a chance to shot fake get to the rim, but he's quick on his feet to get the second chance tip in. Eight in the quarter for Cosin. As we come up on two minutes, the margin is nine. Scott, spin, right hand, too hard. Another opportunity for Hancock Central. Oh. Rimmed out, no good. Cosin was fighting for it. They say Hancock Central touched it last. Yeah, I think they got a foul there on Scott, John. Just offensively, Hancock Central is just missing shots there at the rim, John. But you talked about that size of Wilcox County, Wilkinson County. Wilkinson County's all time shots. It may not be blocking shots, John, but they're all time shots. It's effective, yeah? Oh, yeah, definitely. 
Colin Philippe Scott, his second. Back in transition off the turnover, works the dish to Debaggio. Tucker, no. Tip is good that time, Artrevia Smith. You can't give up on the play. Young people, when you're watching basketball, you can't give up on the play. You may think your teammate's going to hit that layup. you got to be there for the tip. Drive, left hand, no. Missed the dunk. Hancock's got it. The numbers. Tucker for the deuce. From this fast pace, there's a game of spurts, and now you see Hancock coming out and having their spurt now, cutting it down to a five-point game, doing a good job, John, stopping the offense and attacking in transition. 60 minutes, 60 seconds for the first half. Marching back to five. We've had a run by Wilkinson. We had a run by Hancock at the end of the first. Wilkinson gets there to the beginning of the second. Hancock Central's time again. Tip no up and in that time. Bear on the foul. Yeah, both people went up the cruise and then Bear being able to tip in on the weak side. He's back to seven, 28, 21. Central had a run. Wilkinson County had a run. Sam Crenshaw with Dr. Jeter. Dr. Jeter headed to, lock, headed to the locker room. You were down at the end of the first quarter. Talk about the second quarter. What got things turned around for your team? Well, just playing solid basketball. Nothing fancy. Get into your stuff. Turn it and do what we do well. And we're bigger in the post, so we got to attack the paint. You're facing an opponent you're familiar with. What's the key to the second half for you? Just fundamental basketball. And uh, if we do that, I think we'll be fine at the end of the day. We'll be looking for that. Good luck to you. Thank you. All right, 28-22, the score at halftime. Let's go now to Mark and Jackie. Thank you very much, Sam. Coming up on our GPB halftime show, we'll have scores and highlights and stats all from the first half and the earlier games. And also we'll see what fans are chatting about online in the social media world. That and much more as we continue right here on GPB's halftime show. Don't go anywhere.
This program on GPB is made possible in part by supporters of the Georgia High School Association, including the following. This isn't just any team. This is your home team, okay? It's not about A team or B team. It's not about your boss telling you to be a team player or to take one for the team. No, home team is about pride. It's about standing strong, pulling together, and going crazy about a bad call you know is right. But because it was against your home team, it must be wrong. Look, some people just don't get it because it's not their team. But Farm Bureau Insurance does because everyone needs a home team for insurance. And we are that. This isn't Madison Square Garden. These drills probably won't make anyone a number one draft pick. But these players are practicing for something important. While they work on their jump shots, they're also learning teamwork, discipline, self-confidence, how to deal with wins and losses. Skills that will make them winners long after they leave the court. Support high school activities in your community. Because when kids take part, they get set for life. On Masterpiece, it's time to say farewell. If reason fails, try force. Everyone has a chance. Oh my God. The final episode. We're sisters, and sisters have secrets. Downton Abbey, the final episode on Masterpiece. Sunday at 9 on GPB. was the greatest athlete in American history. But he knew it wasn't enough. This land is your land. Jack, you felt an obligation to speak up. From Ken Burns, if you only know the legend, you don't know the man. From California. Welcome back to the GTB Halftime Show. We're at the break of the boys' single-A public school state title game between the Warriors of Wilkinson County and the Bulldogs of Hancock Central. Wilkinson leading it right now, 28 to 23, and kind of a rock 'em, sock 'em, up and down type of basketball game. And we will have first half stats coming up later, but first let's talk a little bit about what's happening in the world of social media. We want you guys to chime in. Make sure you're chatting with us. Tell us who you're rooting for, where you're watching from. Make sure that you send us photos. You can find us on Facebook and Twitter at GPB Sports, also on Snapchat. Let's get to a few tweets. We have one fan chiming in saying, Hancock, swear they gone win they're going to win one. Let's see who takes home the trophy and rings. Let's go, Warriors. Sounds like a little trash talk is starting to begin. This fan as well saying, Hancock, the Bulldogs, are going to get the win. So react, guys. Be sure to share your team pride with us at GPB Sports on Facebook and Twitter. And uh, send us your photos. Let's start some couch gating here. Let's send us some trash talk. Tell us who you think is going to win the game tonight. We're in for the long haul. So we've got all night long in the next two days. You make sure that you're connected with us on social media. Time now to check out the Georgia EMC scoreboard. One game is in the books. The first championship crowned was in the girls' single-A public school state championship game. It was the Lady Rebels of Turner County defeating Terrell County 55 to 38. It was Turner County's very first state champion. They've been runner-ups in 2000 and 2015. They win their first one and they go undefeated. A picture perfect, 31 and 0. Right now we're at the half of the boys class 1A public school game. It's the Wilkinson County Warriors going for their eighth state championship, leading Hancock Central's Bulldogs 28-23. Coming up tonight around seven o'clock, the 26 and four veteran Lady Warhawks are taking on the 30 and one America Sumter Panthers. And then around 8.45 or so, it's Liberty County's Panthers. They've only lost one game this year, taking on the Jonesboro Cardinals. The Cardinals have won back-to-back -back state championships. They're going for the three Beat. Coach Don Mailman and his crew very uh, excited about this season and very excited to be back in the championship game here at the Macon Coliseum on GPB. There's a lot to get to. We've got certainly a long night ahead of us in a couple of games. I'll be doing sidelines for the next girls game and there's already been a lot of energy here in the air. I mean fans already out here earlier for the single A public school, school game crowding 
crowding everywhere. I mean, it's, so far it's been awesome, so we've got a lot more to get to. Right, the fans are very pumped up, and there's a lot of great storylines going yeah. on. There's two teams that have a chance to win the football basketball daily double. Oh, yeah. There's three schools that can win the boy-girl daily double. A lot of schools have a chance for multiple state championships, including Wilkinson County going for their eighth. Tomorrow, Wesleyan will go for their 12th, so it's a pretty exciting three Already days. Already not a dry eye in the house earlier with Turner County, so setting things off right. Now it's time for our career play of the game brought to you by the Technical College System of Georgia. Want to work in Georgia's booming film industry? Learn movie production and set design for free at the Technical College System of Georgia. Find a career in this exciting industry as a production assistant, rigging technician, makeup artist, and more. A free education in 10 high demand industries awaits you at the Technical College System of Georgia. Change your life. TCSG.edu. We are getting ready for the second half of the boys' single-A public school championship game between Wilkinson County and the Bulldogs of Hancock Central. Don't go anywhere. John Nelson and Sean Golden will have the first half scores and highlights coming up next on GPB. It's time for the second half. I know that something very strange has happened to my brain. I'm either feeling very good or... Here, beauty is a lot more than skin deep. For more than 100 years, we have focused on creating individual success stories. This is a place where professors are mentors, competition is cheered, collaboration counts, experience is hands-on, and connections are lifelong. VSU, over 100 majors, championship athletics, focused on your success. Life, like video games, is all about getting to the next level. Mastering skills, gaining knowledge, and setting goals are crucial to success in both. I attended the College Career Academy when I was a sophomore. At the time, I was working at Taco Bell, but I realized that just wasn't for me. What I do here in my job is very similar to what I did at the College and Career Academy. Georgia Department of Education's Career Pathway courses give you the chance to power up your future. Information is at georgiasfutureworkforce.org. Watch me and see whether or not you want to do it. I guess I'm just going to walk right through. This is alligator country. Are you insinuating that you have to babysit me? This is pretty, 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 pretty. Okay. He's kind of warty for a tree frog. Woo. He's on your hat. <laughs> I've never seen anything move quite that fast in my life. We're about to make what we call a bear burrito. It's true love. Can I have this for dinner tonight? Sure. Thank you. Come here and give me a kiss. What's the next great American invention? Meet a few Georgia Tech students who have an idea. We're Team Replantable, and we've invented a way for people to grow produce right in their kitchen. Engineers and innovators of every stripe present their proposals to the judges. Science and engineering. Industrial design. Mechanical engineering. engineering. Computer engineering. Electrical engineering. See the teams who've earned a golden ticket and who will take first place at the 2016 Inventure Prize at Georgia Tech. Wednesday, March 16th on GPB. Welcome back, Megan Coliseum, Megan Center Blocks getting ready for the second 16 minutes of the boys' single-A public school championship. Wilkinson County, the Blue Storm, leading Hancock Central by five. It's been a game of runs, something that we didn't necessarily think would be out of the norm. 28-23 at the break. And it was, I've got to run, now the other guy's got to run. I've got to run, the other guy's got to run. We knew it was going to be up and down the floor for the full time. And John, that's the way both teams play. It's a spurt of runs. Both teams want to get up down the court. Transition basketball is what they want. But one team's got to come out and do a better job of just playing smarter, John. One team's got to come out and defend better, keep the ball out of the paint. Little things are going to make a big difference here in the second half. And we'll get to that second 16 minutes in just a little bit. Let's take a look at what happened in the first half. And when you think about what's going on in the blue, focus on number four, Greg Coaster. Hey, Coaster's doing an awesome job. A double-double here in the first half, John, with 12 points, 11 rebounds. He's getting to the rim. He's just playing with a lot of tenacity right there in the first half. Flip side for Hancock Central. A part of their run was Martravius Smith. Well, he's doing a better job, John. Seven points for the team, lead them in scoring. 
but he's being aggressive with scoring on offensive rebounds and transition baskets. Averaging a little over eight on the year, and he's got seven in the first 16 minutes. So it's going to take those kinds of efforts from those players you're not necessarily focusing on that are going to make the impact here in the last game of the year. Over to Sam Crenshaw with Coach Webb. Here with Coach Webb. You're down by five at the break. What do you tell your team in the locker room? We've got to capitalize on our free throws and, and box out. They're killing us on the glass. We get into the line, but we're not finishing. And that's why that's the difference of the ball game right now. Tell us about the things you want to see. Of course, you said, I remember hearing you say at the end of the first quarter, you won the first quarter. They go back out and do those things. Can they bottle it back up here in the second half? Yes, sir. We're used to this. Um, most of our games, we've been down at the half. The third quarter is typically our best quarter. We'll be looking for that. Thank you. Good luck to you. That's Coach Webb. Thank you very much, Sam. Here's your first half numbers. I know a couple of things stick out, but what sticks out? Well, John, offensive rebounded just as a whole, John. 23-18, you may think that's a score. Zero three-point shots made. I mean, that's not hitting the hitting the basket, John, just not shooting the ball well. But the stat that we really need to focus on, John, mm -hmm. is KISS, K-I-S-S. -S. Right. Who can keep it simple? Play the simple game of basketball here in the second half. And again, that'll put yourself in the position to win this championship. Halftime stats brought to us by our friends at Georgia Farm Bureau Insurance. The stats courtesy of our friends at West Georgia Technical College. No free throws for Wilco in the first half. 7-12 for Hancock Central to keep them in the game. The numbers from the floor, 29% for Hancock Central. But remember, they were also 0 for their first 9 and 1 for their next 11. So 1 for 11 after starting 0 for 9, and they're only down 5 as we start the third. And John, one thing I want to point out, Watch Brooks for Hancock Central. He's got a team foul. He picks up an early foul here in the, in the third quarter, John. Uh, something we need to just watch out for. All right. Speaking of Brooks, he's got the basketball going up against Aaron Sheeter. Artrevious Smith, Philippe Scott. The starting fives are the same. Brooks, Scott, Smith, Tucker, Meninger for Hancock Central. And steps that time by Dallas Dunham. Coach, I like what Han John, I like what Hancock Central did there. They didn't force the play. They're letting the game come to them. Even though they got a turnover with the wall, I like their patience there in the first possession of the second half. One change for, Wil for Wilkinson County. Jonathan Bear, number two, is going to give them some height on the inside. A 30. And the drive there makes it 30 25. Having played a minute 13. Hancock Central won the Class A state championship in 2008. Cam Halsey and all that bunch. And here's how they got their last bucket. As the ball stays on in the road, the defense didn't shift. There's no weak side help, but there's Scott. Nice finish down low. And that may be something, John, a, a halftime adjustment that Hancock made. Instead of just driving with a three, uh, three out two in spread, let's attack off the ball screen. Both squads here in the third quarter. Two for their first three from the floor. Wilco brings it up. Up five, a minute ten in. Jones inside to Coson. Trying to work off the right shoulder and does for his next bucket. He's now got 14. Just the reason, just to dribble down the court, get it inside, and Coulson just having a career night jump with a double double. You got to front the post or keep it outside. Play. Offensive foul, Hancock Central. Looks like they're calling Philippe Scott, and that's his third. And see, John, usually the team that wins the first three minutes of the second half, John, is the team that wins the game. And you see Wilkinson County come out with fire. And you heard Coach Gito say, we've got to continue to do what we've done and do it best here in the second half. Team split the season series. Wilco won 68-55, first game of the year, December the 4th. The Hancock Central won in Sparta on January 9th, 70-62. Coach, free throw line. Doesn't get the roll. Meninger with the rebound. That was an interesting. 
interesting look to see Scott being guarded by Bear outside the three-point circle, top of the key, outside the elbow, jumper too much. Long rebound picked up by Scott. Tucker, back of the rim. Third opportunity for Hancock Central. Getting folks up in the air. Andrea Smith for two, he's exceeding his season average. Offensive rebounding, John, you can hear us talk about it at the beginning, we'll continue to talk about it. You've got to defend the shot, defend the drive, and you've got to do a good job of defensive rebounding. Smith with nine, averaging eight on the year. Jeter for the elbow. Jeter did a good job of reading how the defense, they thought he was going for a deep shot on the three, he just curled in and shot the elbow stroke. Marching back to seven. Tucker, high teardrop, no good. Cozen hits a hard fall, he landed on his right hip. This is John Cozen is showing something, John. He's showing a lot of heart and hustle. Every missed shot, whether it's on the offensive end or the defensive end, his hands are there. He has his hands on the ball. I think that's one of the things that he really brings a sense of toughness to his program. Philippe Scott called for his fourth. So keep an eye on 33 in the white. Double team down low. Jumper short. Closing high. Off the tip foul. Bajia Tucker, yes. And Tucker's second. And John just made that statement how close he's keeping his hands on the offensive rebounds and the defensive yeah. rebounds. He's been very active inside the paint. Long toss in the Ontario coach. Larry Jones has it now, guarded by Brooks. Inside, close. Money player. Nice dish bounce. The double double came from the post, so when it's a double from the post, the weak side guard's got a drop. There was no drop. It's a nice finish down low for Coach. The Celtics play that time, Wilkinson County, and they're going to call a block. Now go through it for me one more time. What happened? See, there's a block to block double screen, hit double or double. Weak side guard's got a drop when that happens. Not happening so quick. Coach is there for the two. His second foul. That's the goal for the first free throw. Margins hitting. Coming up on the halfway point here in the third quarter. Second free throw rimmed out. Poston had the rebound. And then Bear were confused, fighting over it themselves, and will stay with Hancock Central. Well, Poston, I'm really loving how he's playing this game tonight, John. He's attacking offensively, but at the same time, defensively, he's getting a lot of steals, deflections, and most importantly, rebounds. Speaking of steals and deflections, there's another one. Wilco comes out with it. One of the push the pace. Very teams will settle. Bear. In and out of those, his hand goes back to him. Yeah, Bear had the jump hook. There was no weak side trap coming from the post. He thought it was going to come, so he kicked it down the coast and just a little too hard of a pass uh, for the big fella down low. That's going to be my question. Looks like he threw a fastball in on Yeah. And the halfway point here in the third quarter. R.J. Tucker. Now it's big fun. second and we're going to take a break. 319 for the third. Wilkinson County trying to extend their lead. Right now it's 10 over Hancock Central here at the Macon Coliseum. Single A Public Championship on the great GPB.
Welcome back. Megan Coliseum making centerplex. 319 for the third. Wilkinson County up 10 as they chase their eighth state title. Another great part of the programming here at Georgia Public Broadcasting this spring. Don't miss out on all new episodes from GPB's Emmy Award winning nature series. Georgia Outdoors as Sharon Collins explores the beauty of our state. Make sure to check out the Georgia Outdoors Facebook page as well for behind the scenes photos, upcoming show times and more. Georgia Outdoors only on GPB. Let's take a look at how they're doing from the floor here. 29 of 75, slightly more than one third. And, and, and John, the best pass is a missed shot. If you understand the game, the best pass is a missed shot. And I think that's what Kishan is saying. I think it's what Dr. Jeter has told him all year long. You can make plays to get back to the basket, but because of your quickness, you can outplay people by going to the offensive glass and rebounding for us and getting putbacks. Hancock Central 0 for 9, one of their first 11, 8 of 28 at the half, and they've only made two here in the third. Two for five in the third quarter, they go 10 of 33. And John, you just made a statement, two for five for Hancock in addition to four turnovers this quarter. So they've got to protect the ball better, and they've got to make shots. Missed a free throw on the second one. Looks pressuring. Ontario Coates brings it across half court to Larry Jones. He'll pick up the guard work there. Bates looking inside, get the Jeter around the horn. Trying to spark Coates up. Teardrop, no good there. Offensively, the from the top, John. The defense was out of control. Offensively, Ferris did a good job getting inside position for the tip. Margins 11, 40-29. Central looking to work on the inside. Philippe Scott for two. But Scott's a little when he's down low, John. Bear just didn't have the physicality to defend him in the post. He may want to get around him and front him or do a better job of denying him the potential pass. Scott with 11. Smith for nine. Leading Hancock Central in scoring. Drive, not from behind. Bear had it. Meminger had it. Philippe Scott had it. Say Hancock Central touched it last, but stays with Wilco. Today, Leon Jones in. Larry Jones out. Almost too much loft under that entry pass. But Jones will have it. To start the offense. Coates, Jeter, Jones, Bear. Off the glass, too hard. Missed his follow. Third chance. John, when he got the ball that last two possessions ago, he made the pass to Cousin. This time he took the jump hook, thought he was going to miss it, used his quickness and got the tip in. Good basketball. Bear now with eight. The tall front line for Wilkinson County showing its team missing everything with the previous year. Again, here's the ball down over there. He goes to the middle. The last time, they didn't double, so he said, hey, let me take the shot. Miss it, but get the offensive put back. Good offensive play down low for the big guy. Winner out, it looks like they're going to call Kosin for the foul using that left elbow. So for Kosin, that'll be his second. Yeah, Colson just trying to be physical, get position down low, John. And you know, we talked about rebounding, John. Wilkinson County outscoring Hancock 22 to six in second chance points. That, John, I would say is the name it is the name of the game. They took from a minus five to a plus 11 in a hurry. Kurtz knocks it out of bounds. Let's see what Hancock Central will want to do on the inbound. Tucker giving go. Philippe Scott has scored. There's a high for Tucker. Looks being guarded by Aaron Jeter, three and double zero. Scott going up on Bear. Gets the muscle. Second chance. Follow from behind. But no third chance. Looks like he's going to a sea of hands, but it's going to be Wilco's ball with a minute to go. Just a little bit too much.
much penetration, open penetration by Wilkinson County has allowed Hancock to get back into the game with 30 seconds to go. Brooks averaging 16. He only has seven right now for Hancock Central as we come up on 25 seconds to go for the third. Casey double team. Pass didn't have a lot on it. Hancock Central frankly lucky to hang on to it at 15 seconds. Tucker, drive, big teardrop, left hand, no. Inside was Jemiah Fountain trying to add some height in there. It's the 6-4 freshman. 40 White getting some minutes here at the end of the third. Wilco's going to have one last opportunity with 11 seconds. Got a 1-4 flat possession coming up, John. Let's see what can happen. Jones dish to Bear off the glass. No, Cosin follow. No, and that's it. Second chance points, huge for Wilkinson County. And they have maintained their lead. Nine point lead for Wilco as the Blue Storm chase the eighth championship in the career of Dr. Aaron Jeter. Fourth quarter when we come back to Macon on GPB. Where do you come alive? A stadium, lecture hall, a music hall, church potluck? This year, you have a new spot, walkgeorgia.org, a free website that provides you with all the resources needed to get your heart rate up and body out in your community. Sign up and receive individual or group fitness tracking, fitness demos by certified trainers, recipes, and a guide to resources in your Georgia county, all in one easy-to-use site. When you move more, you live more. Walkgeorgia.org. This program on GPB is made possible in part by supporters of the Georgia High School Association, including the following. This isn't just any team. This is your home team, okay? It's not about A team or B team. It's not about your boss telling you to be a team player or to take one for the team. No, home team is about pride. It's about standing strong, pulling together, and going crazy about a bad call you know is right. But because it was against your home team, it must be wrong. Look, some people just don't get it because it's not their team. But Farm Bureau Insurance does because everyone needs a home team for insurance. And we are that. Hey, great party. Oh, thanks. Here you go. One hamburger, medium well. Uh, this is well done. No, no, no. That's medium well. What? Are you calling me a liar? This thing is practically burned. That's it. You're not going to come to my house and tell me how to cook a hamburger. Yeah, like, I don't really you, you, you wouldn't do it there. You gotta be crazy. So don't do it here. Sportsmanship. It's up to you. Macon Coliseum, Macon Center Parks, eight minutes away from deciding the single A class public boys champion. It's either going to be the Blue Storm or the Bulldogs. Just in time for baseball season, since pitchers and catchers have reported, Ken Burns presents his latest documentary, Jackie Robinson, an enthralling look at the groundbreaking career and civil rights activism of the baseball legend, featuring extensive interviews with his widow, Rachel. See how their love story is the foundation for all of his success. Coming Monday, April the 11th, Jackie Robinson on the great GPP. We were looking at the numbers after 24 minutes and one stuck one, out. Two, two, three, two, three, Zero free throws there by Wilkinson County John. Zero three points. Oh, 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 but for the EV battle, we got a seven point game. So you can't really look at the stats, John. It really doesn't tell the picture. Uh, the game itself is flowing pretty good. Uh, just players making plays and just out here having fun playing a good clean game. Montreal Smith with the deuce to come to seven. As we're 30 seconds in. Bear, spin move. And it's Scott. And that's his fifth. Woo! John Benton. And the size and that foul along. First of all, you can't play behind. 
Yes, he has his hands up, but his body is walking into the offense. That was definitely a foul with the body check. Finishes with 11 points. Four boards, fouls out 38 seconds into the fourth quarter. And that was your first Wilco free throw today. That was your second. Dallas Memminger with the board. Jemiah Fountain in. Keep the hype going for Hancock Center. Tucker went in on Bear. Wasn't happening. Scrap up for inside. Memminger had the rebound. Stuck it up in a foul in Wilkinson County. They say with the size difference now, John, with Hancock, they got to play a little bit more scrappy. You don't have that inside presence that you had with Scott. So now you've got to tackle the drive and just play scrappy basketball from here on out. Fouls on Ontario Coates, his third. Runs out. Second off the rim, no good. Coates in the rebound, quick outlet. Numbers aren't there. Jeter pulls it back on a one on three. Basketball. You can't look at the score, John. You're down by 10 points with 6.42 to go in the game. You just got to stay aggressive. You still can't go out here and shoot yourself in his foot, taking threes, which you're not going to hit. He's attacking the rim. Sam Crenshaw, what do you know? Dr. Jeter is very emphatic about his team. He's been telling them to focus, focus, focus. He knows his opponent very, very well. He says, hey, they're going to come all out. They're going to do everything they can. You got to focus. Crisp passes. Those are things he said are going to be mandatory and attack, attack on offense. There's passes and attack. Basically for Wilkinson County, just reminding him to stay the course. Yeah, play your game. You know, play smart, but play our game. Don't change. Play your game. A minute and a half in. Bonjour Tucker for three. Front win, no. Tipped around. Hancock had it there on his transition. Oh, Talked about how Wilkinson County scores three out to win. There's the curl. Inside presence there for Cooson. Look at that. Inside presence, John, is important. If you get inside presence, nice tip. That's how he's done. Got a double double in the game. Brooks misses the first free throw. Too tight there for Hancock Central and not been able to hit from the end of the or outside the hot zone. So a tough night shooting there for Hancock Central. Five from the line in this quarter. Nine for 21 from the free throw line on the night. Go 
Double team Ontario Coats. Looks like the foul's on Brooks, and if it is, that'll be his third. And John, you can hear Dr. Jeter telling his players, be patient. Stay aggressive when the opportunity presents itself, but you have to be patient with the ball here on offense. So three minutes gone. Wilkinson up 12. Coates and Jeter. Wilkinson with 24. Ten more two goals made, period, than Hancockson. Jones, guarded by Marcovia Smith, backs it back out, give to Ontario Coates. Guarded by DeVarcier Tucker, ball hit the floor, bodies hit the floor, fair with the tip, looking for Coates and did it too hard. And John, it wasn't a bad play offensively, good penetration. Man, we went a little too early with not even, you know, 419 to go, but good hands there by Hancock Center for the deflection now and chance to score an offense again. Ball turned over for Wilkinson County. Hancock Center over the left. Good drive. Bajie Tucker missed it. And then a good miss by Fountain that time. Third chance Tucker on the inside. Do a bunch of hands. Wilkinson Center over the press table. He's going to stay with Hancock Center. Larry Jones chased. Ran out of room. Halfway point. Works out high. It's going to find Andy Chino. Looking to fly. It's just like Chino with the hand. And it's called Chino with the foul. It's going to be his third. Side shots to actually come from 11 points down with 350 to go, John. You got to do a good job of attacking rim to get to the free throw. Chasing history. Here's a part of that history. And the story of LaQuinton Jones against Whitfield Academy in overtime. Makes the first free throw. You're in overtime. You're up three. What do you do? You pull everybody back. One on three. Jones gets the rebound himself. He'd go back to the free throw line and ice it for Wilkinson County for that championship against Whitfield Academy back in 2000. And seven, the middle of the big run for the Blue Storm. Well, John, that all you need is one win to teach the community, to teach the team, to teach the coaches how to win championships. All you need is one, John. But once you get that lesson, now you can start building and building and building. And you know, Dr. Jeter's done a good job, John, of just teaching this community how to be successful, teaching these kids how to listen, work hard. They got a chance to go for number eight here tonight. 99, 2000, 02, 07, 2011, 2013, 2014. 
not to jinx the man, but in the seven championship games Wilkinson County has played in, they are 7 and 0. Intercepted Brooks. One on three, drives anyway off the glass, no good. He'll go to the line. Well, that was smart on Brooks. John, nice hesitation on traffic and transition, good steal. Now, again, he's got to convert on these free throws, John. I mean, it's a, it's a dagger in the foot. He had a chance to hit three in a row from the three-point shot. He's missed a one and one here lately. And here we go. It's just a hurting game. They got a chance to come back, John, but you got to hit shot. Missed everything on that first free throw. Two for eight in the quarter. For nine. Back to single digits at 252. Okay, content to work the perimeter, keep possession of the basketball. Larry Jones, and a foul on Martravius Smith on the reach. Hey John, if you look at the bottom of the screen, you see Hancock Central with three timeouts left, Wilkinson County with two. Mm -hmm. uh, Wilkinson County is playing nine to ten players. Hancock Central now is down to five players because you lost Scott. He needs to get well, he needs to use a timeout here soon just to give his team a rest. Jeter calls the play, drive. Seven players who have scored. Hancock only has five of the seven that they have put out their score officially on the day. Press coming out of the timeout. Wilkinson gets it across. Steps. Sometimes a team that likes transition puts them a little bit. Show them how the pressure feels the first time it happens.
the two on the drive. Tucker knocks it off, Coates, and it stays with Hancock Central as we come up to the last minute. And Johnny did understand that we got to do the one. But he's going to still got a face on it. Bear going after the rebound. Gets it. Picks it out to Coates. The GHSA Basketball Championships are made possible in part by Regions Bank, it's time to expect more. Georgia's Electric Membership Corporation, lighting the way. Technical College System of Georgia, learn more, earn more. And by viewers like you, thank you. The GHSA would like to thank the Georgia Farm Bureau. What is by moonlight an empty field is by the magic of electricity, sacred ground. As the official energy provider of the GHSA, Georgia's electric membership cooperatives proudly support our student athletes. We are there, illuminating the glory moments fans just have to see. Capturing the hustle, elevating champions, sharing the win. Georgia's EMCs, empowering our youth, lighting the way. This moment. Getting here took three years of sleepless nights and postponed vacations. Your dad said, play it safe. Your husband kept the faith. 
But franchising is why you partnered with Regions in the first place. We share your vision for moving forward. And at moments like this, Hi, Steve. that makes all the difference. Is your business at a turning point? Regions. Today, companies in the aerospace, advanced manufacturing, and film industries need skilled workers, and the earning potential is high. Go Build Georgia can show you where the jobs are and what skills you need to get them. And the Technical College System of Georgia has fast, affordable training for these great paying careers. Build your blueprint for success at GoBuildGeorgia.com and look to the Technical College System of Georgia to put your plan into action. Welcome back, Megan Coliseum, Macon Centerplex. It is time for a piece of history. We go to the center of the floor of the Macon Coliseum. Mark Harmon with a very special presentation. It is true, it is a very historic occasion for the presentation of the class single A public school boys state championship. I turn the microphone over to the executive director of the GHSA, Gary Phillips. Thank you, Mark, Coach Jeter. Congratulations, as you said, three out of the last four it's quite a run. Congratulations. Here's our friends from Georgia Farm Bureau for the award presentation. Coach Jeter, congratulations again on behalf of Georgia Farm Bureau. I believe that's what, number th three in the last two? Last four. Last four. Yes, congratulations. Y'all work. Congratulations. Mark. Coach Jeter. Yeah. You got the hardware. You got the trophy. You got the basketball. Talk about winning number eight at Wilkinson County. Well, I tell you what, you, you don't get a better group of fans from Wilkinson County, and these kids have overcome a whole lot this year, and I'm very proud of them, and thanks to the Georgia High School Association for putting on such a great event. All right, Ontario, come over here. You're one of the seniors on the team. Talk about what this means to you to go out as a senior and win this state championship. It feels really good, man. Everybody thought we weren't going to make it, but we kept grinding, kept playing hard, and we made it. All right, where's Daniel? Where'd he go? The big fella, come up here. Come right up here. At the end of the game, when it was still in doubt, you had two or three blocks in a row. You were denying them. Talk about winning and going right down to the end. Hey, the, the game is 32 minutes. We played all 32 minutes and won the state championship. Let's see. Yeah. Couldn't get any better than that. Well, Coach Jeter, one final thing as you hold on to the trophy and the ball. You built just a fantastic program down there. Talk a little about what the community, what the fan base, what the parents, what the student body means to you and your team. Well, you talk about in Wilkinson County, basketball has been very good since the 60s. And I'm standing on the shoulders of guys like Coach Moore, Coach Jones. Those guys built a great tradition, and I'm just glad to help build on to it. I know they're very proud of you in Irwinton. Number eight, a great eight for the Blue Storm. It's time for our GPB tailgate party. 